All right, good morning. It is just before 1125 here, giving you an update on kind of what we got going on out in the tropics. Hopefully everyone can hear me on this live stream uh, as we get this underway. And uh, we'll give it a few more seconds here to make sure we get a few people in here. And then we're going to break down Fred in a new area we have uh, out there in the tropics. All right, good deal. Looks like our audio is coming through just fine. And as you can see there, we're going to go full screen here so you can see what we got going on. Uh, Tropical Depression, Fred, it is still just a depression sitting just north of Cuba. And it looked pretty rough yesterday and even this morning, but it looks like it's coming together now just a little bit better. As you can see, more of those showers and thunderstorms are starting to develop closer to where we think that center of low pressure is. That center of low pressure is still pretty unorganized and ragged, but trying to come together and the movement. Uh, not terribly fast, but at a pretty decent rate. It's at least moving at about 12 miles per hour. So that's what it looks like right now. It's sitting 70 miles north northwest of parts of Cuba, and uh, it'll be making its way more northwest later on today. So here's the latest track as of 10 a.m. You can see there continuing as a depression probably through the rest of this afternoon. And then by this evening, going into tomorrow morning, it'll have a better chance of becoming a tropical storm again, a weak tropical storm as it passes over the Florida Keys, and then upwards uh, kind of skirting right along and running parallel to the west coast of Florida. So you can see there uh, maybe by Saturday night and Sunday morning just to the west of Fort Myers, west of Tampa as we go throughout Sunday and then Sunday night into early Monday. That's when we're expecting it to make landfall. Uh, it looks still more likely like it'll make landfall somewhere in the central panhandle. That's where we've seen really um, some pretty good agreement over the past couple of days really no big changes here but there it is late Sunday night early Monday morning making landfall but still mobiles in the cone of uncertainty all the way through Tallahassee in that area in the big bend so anywhere in there has the possibility to see this weak tropical storm make landfall of course it's going to be really heavily weighted on the east side so a lot of the rainfall is going to be displaced from the center so if you're west of this center Probably not going to see much in the way of rainfall at all, at least associated with that storm. So that's the latest on Fred as it makes its way towards Florida. we got a new area we're watching. This is simply a disturbance. We're calling this Potential Tropical Cyclone 7. Basically, it's still just a disturbance. The reason they call it this funny name is because it's going to be impacting the islands here pretty soon and it raises awareness that there is a potential cyclone incoming it's just not quite there yet but just think of it as a disturbance that's going to more than likely turn into either a depression or a tropical storm you can see there uh, it is looking pretty healthy this morning or this afternoon rather and there's a pretty good shot that it has become a depression later on today and then eventually becoming tropical storm gray. So let me show you the latest forecast track with this. You can see it there. Uh, we'll put this in motion. This is going out through uh, Sunday. So notice by Sunday morning, closer to the U.S. and British Virgin Islands as a tropical storm, it would be tropical storm grace. If it does reach that status, this will continue to move towards the west. And then here's where it gets tricky and here's where there's a lot of uncertainty with this potential tropical cyclone. It's its interaction with the islands here. Now, as it moves over the islands, just like Fred, it could tear it apart. The thing is, if this goes north of the island, then there's nothing to tear it apart. It could be stronger than what's shown here. On the other hand, it could go south of the islands and perhaps be a little bit stronger as well. But right now, the center of that forecast track takes it over a lot of these islands and they keep it fairly weak. Just know this is subject to change. This will likely change. I mean, this is five days out. Next Wednesday, it's getting towards the Bahamas and near Cuba. It could easily be further north than this and be stronger. It could be further south than this and be stronger as well. So this will be something we have to watch in the long term. And while it looks like this curves and turns up to the north eventually, there are some indications that maybe it does start to turn, but then as it starts to turn, that ridge of high pressures that's turning it gets a bit stronger, kind of blocks it, and maybe it turns back either into the U.S., maybe into Florida, maybe it tries to get into the Gulf. All of those are going to be possibilities at this point. And uh, just like any of these tropical systems, we kind of have to track them for a while when they're this far out. And we just got to watch them. We just got to watch the trends in the models. But this looks like one that could be one we have to watch. And while it doesn't explicitly show it becoming a hurricane anytime soon, it does have the potential to become one of our um, second hurricanes of the season. So we'll be watching this closely into next week. Got a long time to watch it. Of course, Fred will be an issue this weekend for Florida. And I say an issue, it's mainly going to be a rainmaker. 
little choppy seas, some minor coastal flooding, things like that. But overall, the impacts look fairly minimal uh, for, for Florida, but something to certainly watch. Heavy rain, isolated tornadoes, things like that. So that is the latest as of 10 a.m. and the latest on our now two areas we are tracking with what looks like grace will be forming pretty soon. Thanks for joining me.